you know, through these different experiences that you've come across, has there been any recent additions to your lease that, you know, you've had to add in because of a new experience? We do add things. Uh, we had, uh, we haven't changed our lease much over the last few years. Uh, I do remember we had um, a, a pet agreement and we used to have the tenants sign the pet agreement at move-in and we would have a representative there at move-in. And we had one tenant that filled out an extra pet that wasn't disclosed and it wasn't caught by the property manager. They, they uh, knew that there was a pet, but they didn't know that there were two. Okay. And so unfortunately the HOA had a rule that only allowed one pet. And so there was a monthly fine for, um, for having an additional pet. Well, we ended up paying the fine ourselves because it was our mistake that we didn't catch. Uh, but then at the end of the lease, we told the tenant, you either have to reduce the number of pets to one uh, or you can move on and find another place to live, but we're not going to be able to rent to two because we're not going to be able to pay the fine. Mm -hmm. So we honored our lease. We honored the agreement, but uh, we did make it known to the tenant that this wasn't disclosed in the application and it was a, it was a mistake and it shouldn't have happened. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. It's just... Another thing to watch out for. Another there. thing to watch out for, right? So, want to hear more on this topic? Click the link below for the full episode of Maximizing Your Property Value.